to the horror genre in your work? Uh, well I think um, to me the horror genre is, is I think as Randy Campbell said that he's never found the boundaries of the horror genre so what attracts me to the horror genre really is that very fact I think because to me everything everything is horror every every, every sort of genre has horror bleeding into it so yeah. I, th I think it's I don't think it's a choice I think I think I don't just sound pretentious I think horror picks you yeah. You don't pick it. Yeah. Because I know when I, I mean a lot of my stuff that I write, there's elements of horror in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All science yeah. fiction and fantasy has got horror. Yeah, it is. It's just one big blend, isn't it? Yeah. And you, you, you sort of can't, if you try to cut that out, it, it, it wouldn't work. It's, it's a natural thing, I think, that when you're writing about dark subject matter, science fiction, fantasy, horror is associated with that and it blends into it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, why do you think people enjoy being scared? Well, that's that's a million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> they were actually discussing this uh, yesterday with someone, and, and someone was saying about where sort of laughter and terror are very closely linked. Yeah. And and in my theory on it is it's because they're both comedy and horror are both very very extreme emotions. You're dealing with extreme emotions, and and you know when you get a big shock and, and you sort of you know, get the shock of your life, and then what you do afterwards is immediately you laugh, don't you? Yeah. And, and I think it's because of such extreme emotions yeah. that the, the, the sort of a flip side like that. And, and I think people are drawn to extreme emotions, basically, yeah. the, the, to be experiencing them vicariously. You know, because mm -hmm. you don't want to go out and, I don't know, actually experience these horrible things in real life. Yeah. But by experiencing them in a book or, or a film, you can, it's almost like an echo of, of what it would really be like. Yeah. It's almost like, I don't know, you want to know what it would be like to experience these things, but you don't want to actually be involved in them. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. my theory. Yeah, yeah. no, it's good. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> what are your impressions of the World Horror Convention so far? Uh, I think it's been absolutely brilliant, to be honest with you. It's, it's, it's really well organised, it's been... I know there's just, there seems to be a lot of thought and a lot of attention to detail and everything seems to have run. Even if it hasn't, it seemed to have run very smoothly. Mm -hmm. there's, there's been no hiccups and, and, and everyone seems very... Um, everyone's really into it, actually. There's a real big buzz about the whole thing, yeah. which is great. And um, what's your favourite ever horror moment? Oh, in book or film or right. evening art. I forgot you were going to ask that. I actually <coughs> tried to prepare something. Yeah. I'd, would pro to be honest with you, probably, even though I'm a writer, it would probably be from a film because I'm, I'm a very, I'm, I'm a big cinema fan. And I think, I think that actually, it's, it could be something really boring and predictable. But there's a scene in the thing where the the, the guys giving him the cardio massage. Yeah. And his chest opens up, bites his hand off, and the guy's neck stretches and his head falls off, yeah. turns into a, into a spider, yeah. and, and, and it's got a classic reaction shot of the guy, it says, it says something like, hey, you've got to be fucking kidding, yeah. and that, that is one of the, when I first saw that, I actually jumped out of my skin. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's one of my favourite horror films, films well. it's, it's classic, super, isn't it? it's yeah. absolutely brilliant, it's yeah. a modern, modern masterpiece, and, and that moment is just, it's one of those fuck me moments, yeah. like, my god, what have I just seen, yeah. and it, just, it stays with you, yeah. absolute genius. Good stuff, um, and finally, what scares you? What scares me? Everything. Uh, actually, this is a, this goes about another conversation we had this week. Um, I, I, I became a father six years ago with a six-year-old boy, and before we had a child, I was scared of nothing. I was, I was quite fearless in, in like every aspect of life. You know, I would, yeah. I would you know, I would, I would do play sports. I would hurl myself at them bodily, and, and I, would, I would really commit to everything I did. Mm -hmm. I was scared of nothing. But as soon as I had a child, I became scared of everything. So literally, everything scares me now. Which is the benefit of your children. Yeah, like because that. you just you just suddenly have something to be scared for. Yeah. But obviously, being a horror writer, that that's a real boon because you get all these <laughs> new fears you can write about. Yeah. yeah. Stephen King writes a lot, doesn't he, about children? He does. Yeah. I think I, I was I was talking <coughs> about this with a lot of writers of this weekend. Sam Clark, Conrad Williams, and they've all said the same thing. It's, I, mean, I mean, I don't feel like you have the same thing. But as soon as you have a kid, yeah. your fears change, and, and yeah. you start writing a lot about kids, and you know, it's, it's almost as if you're rehearsing these things. Conrad Williams said actually what he, what he thinks he's doing 
is rehearsing what may happen. He's writing, he's writing a story at the minute about some kid getting snatched. He said it's almost like right. he's rehearsing what would happen so he can prevent it from ever happening in real life. <laughs> you know? yep. so, so he's put it down on the page and detailing exactly what would happen so he can look out for the signs of if something like that actually yeah. happened. And Maybe he's ex exercising one of his yeah. own like, fears at all. Yeah, it's like, it's like an exorcism. Because yeah, you, you think about these, you worry about these things all the time, but if you write them on the page, yeah. you get them out of your head. And I always think that people don't have that outlet. What are they walking around with in their heads, man? You know, they're, they're walking around with this stuff in their head. At least we've got it out of ourselves. Yeah, because I mean, page. I use writing as an exorcism. Yeah, I think a lot, yeah. a lot of writers do. I, I, I had a feeling get rid of the same, actually. Yeah, 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 it does get rid of a lot of aggression. A lot of hate, really, a lot of just every negative emotion, you just write it out of your system, yeah. and you feel pretty mellow. Yeah. It's a bit like I was watching Inglorious Bastards the other night, yeah. and uh, you can imagine Tarantino, you know, getting rid, getting, um, getting that hate for Hitler and yeah, the Nazi yeah, regime out of his system. Yeah, system, yeah, yeah. and I think it does do go back, it's a, bit, I think it's a big argument for catharsis, and, yeah. and, and as you put it, exorcism, that's a much better way to describe it, actually it is an exorcism, yeah. getting it out there, yeah. and it can't hurt you anymore. Yeah. Okay, Gary, thank okay. you very much. Great. Thanks. <laughs>